Hello everyone, I'm Priyadarshini, Technical Marketing Engineer from the Switching TME team and welcome to today's session. In this session, we'll discuss about the averaging instantaneous power consumption feature as a part of 1013 update. So here is the usual agenda for this session. We will look at the overview of the feature, its use cases, along with a few details and configurations and a few best practices that needs to be followed and then we'll move on to troubleshooting and a quick demo. So let's jump into the overview. Aruba AOS seats switches are designed with energy efficient features to minimize power consumption. So customer basically wants tools and data to track this energy consumption of a particular network infrastructure. So averaging instantaneous power consumption feature developed as a part of 1013 helps in monitoring the energy efficiency of network switches. And this is very much helpful to report the accurate power consumption to tools like Central. Switch must offer the average of the instantaneous power consumption with the polling period of 10 minutes. So this helps us achieve higher sustainability, energy efficiency and optimized network. Along with this, monitoring power consumption over time provides insights into power requirements of the network infrastructure to Central. This data can be used for capacity planning, helping allocate resource effectively and ensure that there is sufficient power available to support the network's growth. And coming to the question of why this is important, analyzing the average power consumption data can help us identify areas for improvement in energy efficiency. So this information can be used to implement best practices such as, uh, uh, for example, turning off unused ports or optimizing network configuration for low power consumption. So let's jump into the overview of this feature. The power consumed average is calculated from the total power consumed as a running average or a particular period of time. And this information is accessible through CLI, REST API and SNMP. So we can access this information through three ways. So this gives you an overall view of how much power the entire infrastructure, infrastructure is using on an average. So before 1013, the instantaneous power is obtained and average had to be manually calculated every time someone needed this data. But after 1013 or starting from 1013, the system now automatically calculates the average instantaneous power data considering the time specified by the user. So this makes it easier to understand and track power usage changes over time without the manual calculations. So this feature is supported in the removal PSUs and the newly released 6200F Fixit PSU. There is a small hardware gap and we will not be able to view the power consumption, that is the average power consumption on platforms like 6000, 6100, 6200F and 6300F. Along with this, the Aruba AOSCX virtual platform is not supported. So let's move on to the use cases of this particular feature. So the first and foremost use case is to report the total power averaged over a period of time and translate this power consumption into energy cost. So the breakdown of the total power consumption into two components here is important. The first component is the total power of the system, which is CPU, memory, AC, and transceivers, along with the PoE drawn power. So we will generate reports for various scenarios with the help of this average power. Um, here, we can include a standalone fixed port switch or a chassis switch, a VSF stack, or this can also be done across the CX switching portfolio along with PoE or non-PoE switches. So let's talk about the details of this feature and few important things to consider. So the first thing is calculation time frame. So the calculation average always pertains to the most recent 10 minute time frame. For example, even if we collect the data every 30 minutes, the average will reflect the power usage over the last 10 minutes only. And the significance of this, significance of this shorter time allows us to capture recent changes in the power consumption more accurately. Coming to output power versus the input power. So it is crucial to understand that the monitored instantaneous power and the average power calculated are measured at the output of the power supply. 
we don't consider the power input to the PSU. This distinction is very important because it means that we are not factoring in the energy loss caused by the PSU's efficiency not being 100%. When dealing with power efficiency, we must recognize that not all power input to the PSU is effic efficiently delivered as output. So average power monitoring specifically looks at power output and doesn't account for the power loss within the PSU. So let's look at the configuration of this feature. So as mentioned earlier, We'll first talk about the configuration of the average period. So data period timer should be programmable from one minute to 60 minutes. So the minimum is 60 seconds, the default is 600 seconds, and the maximum is 3600 seconds for which you can obtain the average. So here I have taken the example of one of the access boxes 4100i, and it is consuming around 20, 25 watts of instant power, in instantaneous power and 24.10 watts of average power. So the configuration command mentioned sets the averaging period for this power consumption data. So this data is useful for monitoring and man managing the power usage of a network device. So you configure the time using this command, power consumption iPhone average iPhone period and the respective time you want to calculate the time and power for. So here I've mentioned it as 400 seconds. So monitoring of the average instantaneous power using CLI. So the only CLI that is very important to manage the monitor the average power here is show environment power consumption. So this gives us the average power and this is the consumed power of the particular box. We also have another show command which is show environment power I can supply which gives us the PSU status, the input type, the voltage ranges and the maximum power. So this is the maximum power that can be consumed. So the box cannot consume more power than 300 watts here. So another one method that we typically access a diagnostic or maintenance mode of the switch is using the diag command. So this mode allows you to run commands specifically designed for diagnostic and troubleshooting purposes. So here this gives us information with this particular command diag show power iPhone supply. It gives information about the PSU, the instantaneous power, the instantaneous average and the period over which it was calculated. So here it's 24 watts and the period calculated was 600 seconds which is the default timing. And we also have PSU specific information from the direct show power supply command. So this is how average power and power consumed average is monitored through a REST API under the context of system subsystems with the chassis and the attribute value of power consumed average which gives us 24 watts for the 4100i box and the power consumed average period which gives us 600 seconds as configured. Moving on to monitoring of average instantaneous power using SNMP. So this is the respective OID that is mapped and it will query the average power and the average power time frame which is configurable through the browsers like uh, iReasoning or SolarWinds. So here I have used iReasoning browser. So under the Aruba wired power stat power consumed average, we get these two values. And this is the MIB used here, Aruba wired power stat MIB. And we have sub MIPS under them, which gives us the power consumed average and the power consumed average period. So here is an example of how this command is useful in this VSF stack. So here again, issue the same CLI command show environment power consumption with the 600 second time frame, and we get the power consumed average and the instantaneous power for both the members in the stack. So each VSF stack here is monitored as a separate module. So these are just examples of how this is done. So the power consumption detail command gives you the total chassis power and the power consumption of a particular member, let's say if you want to get the power of a particular member, you just issue this command of show environment power consumption member two. It will just give you the power of that particular member. In case let's say the member is not present in the VSF stack. So then we will have this command and this warning that is VSF member five is not present in the stack. So let us consider a 6400 chassis switch here. So here it's again the same CLI that we're using 
and we can see that there is a way um, wide uh, range of change in the power consumption of instantaneous and the average power. Since the chassis has a lot of power PSUs built in, we also can get the chassis total, the line power, the management power consumed, along with that one particular average power of the whole chassis. So this is an interesting information to share, which is power on the Meghuli is the 6200 F rev beam, which is the first fixed PSU skew that can report power. So I have again taken the same command, and this is just to highlight that uh, the 1013 version of Meghuli supports this averaging power consumption feature. So let's have a look at the best practices. So typically, network management tools with central support provide real-time and historical power consumption data. And we can use this to monitor power usage effectively. Also, we shall use the power consumption data to identify opportunities for energy efficiency, which is one of the best practices. And uh, using this monitoring capability to assess the energy consumption is very much useful for network organizations. And a lot of NMS tools are capable of reporting the energy cost. So let's dive into troubleshooting. So we'll go over an event log captured in the 4100i and the 6300m stack here. With the focus on the power management events. So this gives us details on the event logs timestamp here along with the severity of the event and what is going on with the particular power module at that particular time. So this suggests that the first event suggests that the POE functionality which allows devices to receive power over Ethernet connections is operating as expected and uh, the second event suggests, suggests that the power supply PSU 1 slash 1 has changed its state to OK, which is mentioned here. And the power supply PSU 2 slash 2 is absent in it. So these are a few event logs that helps us to troubleshoot in case of any issues. So let's have a quick look at the demo. So here I've issued the CLI show environment power consumption and it gives us the power of the two members of the stack along with the instantaneous and the average power value. So that's pretty much with the demo. Thank you for joining the session.